Hi guys, what's going on? It's Cargo1324 up here today with another pickups video. Um, before I start the video, I just want to address that I haven't done a video in a week. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I can't, um, there's no excuse for it. I, I've just been quite busy, so um, kind of disappointed that I haven't done a video in, in a while. So, um, hey, a pickups video at least. Um, sorry, I've got wonky glasses. Um, this is the second time I've actually done this video. Uh, the last one I just did, it, I don't know what was going on. Uh, the camera was being really slow. Um, I don't know what's up with this video camera. Um, this uh, fucking webcam. It, it's, it keeps going really slow. I don't know why. Um, that's why I've done it again. Maybe it's when I move and then it has to refocus. But I decided to just go through it again. Um, but yeah, uh, my glasses are quite wonky. As you can tell. Um, so I'm kind of annoyed at that and my spare pair's back home and I thought I had a spare pair down here but I didn't so they can't do anything until I go back home next Tuesday so my mate's going to drop Heather off to a train station tomorrow with me and we're going to go around and look in town maybe afterwards but um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how we go hopefully should be alright tomorrow and then I'm, I'll probably do some videos over the weekend um, so we're going to start off with some uh, stuff from my local charity shops and then some stuff from my uh, main town and uh, Basingstoke. So we're going to start with some DVDs. We've got the Ultimate Ric Flair collection. This comes with about nine hours of uh, Ric Flair um, stuff based on obviously Ric Flair the wrestler. Obviously I'm a big WWE fan. Um, I'll talk about WrestleMania at the end of this video maybe. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this was two ninety nine from Oxfam. Not bad. Then we got this one, Origin Spirits of the Past. Um, Heather brought this one, but I'll just show it off anyway. Um, comes in this double disc collector's edition. Um, but um, I've never heard of this movie, um, but it's an anime thing. And I'm starting watching anime again, so I'm starting to watch anime again. Just got two Porridge DVDs here. These aren't mine. Well, these were just given to me. Um, so, hey, you know, two more DVDs for the collection. And Woody Woodpecker and Friends 199. Um, just comes with about 70 minutes of Woody Woodpecker cartoons. I like Woody Woodpecker. He's pretty funny. Um, you know, it's <laughs> Woody Woodpecker. What can you what can you say about him? He's, he's a bit of a legend, isn't he? <laughs> and then I've got one PS2 game, uh, MX 2002 featuring Wiki Carmichael. Um, I think I have MX Superfly featuring Wiki Carmichael. Um, so happy to have another. PS2 games to the collection. Someone commented that I nearly had all the PAL PS2 games. Um, sorry to disappoint you, my friend. Um, I have about 700 to 800 PS2 games, and there's uh, about 2,500 PAL PS2 games. Um, I thought there was less, um, but <laughs> I redone my list and I found out that there's quite a lot of PS2 games come out in PAL. I think more games came out in the European region, the PAL region, and NTSC. Um, so I think in America only about 900 games were released. Uh, in England, well, Europe, we had 2,500. So I've got a long way to go. Um, I ain't going to complete my PS2 collection anytime soon, but hey, you know what I mean? It's always good to pick up another PS2 game. Um, maybe that's the quest, guys. Maybe we can do a, a complete PS2 collection together. Hey. Um, but that was this was part of a deal 2 for 99p so I also picked up Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City I've played this game before it's not a great Resident Evil game in fact it's pretty bad uh, as a Resident Evil game but it's an okay game to play co-op with a friend online um, you know different classes that sort of stuff it's an okay game um, but it's a funny game to play two player at least online so that's why I got it plus it's um, another Resident Evil game at least um, and that game's about a five pound game, so if you get it for like fifty p, pretty much is a, it's a, well, you know, pretty good. And then we got uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior, um, complete. I think most of this stuff is complete, which is always nice. Uh, I'm not a really big guy who goes for complete in box sets, but um, I don't really like loose games. Um, I like to have a game in the box. If it's got the manual, perfect. If it hasn't, it's not really a big issue. Um, especially if it's a cheap game. You know what I mean? I, I can't really um, go for a full box set of every single PS2 game. Because I'll be here... <coughs> Excuse me. 
be here for ages. But I haven't played this game. I may have played the demo. But um, I hear it's an okay first person sniper themed game. I don't really like playing this sniper classes. And I'm normally more of an assault, you know, assault rifle, pistol, that sort of stuff. And then we've got Tom Clancy's Hawks 2. Um, and this is a really good, good box condition game. 149 it was from Bernardo's. Um, it says PG on it, but it is PAL, but I don't know what country this is from. It might be a UK, but it might not be, but um, it is PAL, so it will work. Um, that's what the good thing about PAL is uh, even it's every single, pretty much all the countries in Europe and England, well, the UK and Australia. So we get quite a big variety of um, PAL games, which is like the PS2. You know, there's a lot of games that may have been released in other countries. But um, we can still play in PAL. But a lot of those are quite rare. And overpriced. And then we've got three. Count them. Three sealed, sealed Wii games. Nothing special. But um, they were $1.99 each. And they're all sealed. So I decided just to get them. Because they're sealed games. You don't see a lot of sealed Wii games anymore. Especially um, from charity shops. That's why I got them. My glasses have winkled again. Look. Try to hold them up as best as I can, but we've got here Puzzler Collection. Thousands of puzzles. It just comes with a bunch of like, you know, Puzzler is sort of a one of those uh, reading, well, you know, word searches and crisscross and stuff like that. Mainly got this one for Heather, but I'm probably, if you don't play it, it will just stay sealed and then maybe sell it later on down the line. All these games are about a tenner each on uh, eBay sealed, so you could probably get about £30 if I sold all three of them as a bundle. Um, and then we got World Sports Party. Another shovelware game, um, just comes with a bunch of sport themed games. Might be a half decent little fun game to try out. And then, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, second edition. Of course, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is, is pretty much on every system. And every country has a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire shut. So, three sealed games for £6, not bad. And then, a surprise. Um, there was two PS2 game, uh, PS4 game, sorry, in a charity shop. Both of them three pounds. The only other, the other one was FIFA 16. I didn't pick it up because I thought I ain't really gonna get much resale value on that. I looked on CEX and get like one pound fifty for it, so I ain't gonna make money on that. But I did pick up the Order 1886. Haven't played this game, but I hear it's an okay sort of Gears of War clone. Um, I haven't played. It's an early PS4 game. Um, I thought I'd get it, I can probably play it while I'm down here, um, that's where my brother's PS4 is, probably play it down here at least, and then I'll probably trade it in and see it for a fibre, um, so not bad, um, but it's always nice, to, it's, I've never seen a PS4 game or Xbox One game in a charity shop, so you never know what you're going to find, and it was local charity shop, just over the road from me, and the guinea pig is uh, having a, a munch on his water, so i got some stuff from Game, um, stuff from Game City, and a few things from CX and Basin Stoke. So we'll start off with the stuff from Game City. I need to take my buy, my buy shop, but this is my game. It doesn't work. It's quite scratched. I'm going to have to remember to take it into town with me next time I go into town, get it fixed. Because I need to play through this one before I can play the other two. Um, we've got two games from Game. And both of these are 25% off. So I think they came to £5.98 for both of these games. Um, which is pretty good. Game isn't necessarily my favourite game shop. But when they have the, like, buy two for free, three for two, um, and, like, you know, buy one, get one free, 25% off, you got you got to snap them up. And I've got two pretty decent Xbox 360 games that I didn't have. Up first, we've got Hunter Demon's Forge, or the Demon's Forge. This is like Gears of War in the medieval era, or sort of Gears of War in the fantasy era. It's a cover-based shooter and a hack and slash game. It's very good. It's not the best game on Xbox 360. There are a ton better games out there, but it's a pretty decent game. If you can find a friend to play it with, online or offline co-op, it's definitely worth a try. It's a lot of fun. It's um, a somewhat decent game. I'll give this game about a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. That's how good it is. Um, and it's a fun hack and slash meets um, cover based shooter. You think it wouldn't work, but it does work quite well. And it's made by Be uh, Bethesda. So that you know you're getting a good deal there. 
And the other game I got was um, Killer is Dead. It says it's the limited edition and it comes with a code. Um, but I don't know if the code will work because it was second hand. Um, I've heard of Killer is Dead. Now, I always get this game mixed up with Never Dead. Um, do not get those games mixed up because I believe Killer is Dead is a very uh, is a pretty decent game and I believe this game is backwards compatible. I might be wrong. I'll just have a quick look now, but I'm sure this game is backwards compatible. Um, but I've heard this game is an okay game, maybe not the best. Um, but sorry, I'm just going to see if it is backwards compatible. But yeah, um, and both these, that one would have been 2 99 this one would have been 4 99 but both 25% off. Um, but yeah, so not, not bad actually. Um, I haven't played this game and I think it's sort of like a hack and slash, sort of like in an anime cell shaded universe. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to... See, the backwards compatibility list on the Xbox One is actually getting pretty decent. Now, I believe that backwards compatibility should be something included with all consoles. Now, obviously, there's a big reason why um, games don't become backwards compatible anymore um, or consoles. Because, obviously, you know, if you include a backwards compatible, um, people aren't going to still buy the old systems and the old games but um but oh but i think backwards compatible is a great thing to have and the way the xbox one's done it's pretty decent because they add new games each month rather than um rather than it just be backwards compatible from the start so you know it's sort of xbox's way of going you know what we're trying to um come back in this uh, little war of consoles um yeah it is backwards compatible i knew it was backwards compatible it just didn't have the sticker saying backwards compatible this game isn't though but yeah i'm um, sorry about that but yeah backwards compatible game which is great always nice to have backwards compatible games because they do go up in price a little bit and then we got three ps2 um Three, three PS3 games, two games, and um, and uh, three Xbox 360 games. One game from a charity shop, though. Ridge Racer. Don't forget. Don't look at that stick at the bottom. It was two pound. Ridge Racer Six. I didn't even know there was a Ridge Racer Six. I knew Ridge Racer Five, and I knew there was Ridge Racer Unbounded. This is really cool to see in it. Played the original Ridge Racer on your classic a Vodafone a flip phone boys um that's just really cool to see something like that in there um Ridge Racer is a pretty decent racing game and I, I think this one's a I had never played this one and I'm slowly getting back into racing games I took a hiatus from racing games but I'm slowly getting back into them a nice thick manual very nice to see complete the game's a little bit scratched um quite scratched so if it don't work I can always get it resurfaced I only paid two pounds for it and the box is in pretty decent shape. So not bad for two pound um, from a local chair shop. Well, one in town. But um, I also got Jewel Quest on DS from my aunt. But I gave that to my aunt because it was one pound fifty. I thought I'll give it to my aunt because she likes the match three games on DS. So, but I got that one. And then three PS2 games from CX in Basingstoke. And three Xbox 360 games. All pretty decent games and one Blu-ray box set which absolutely the price was fantastic. We'll go over the Xbox 360 first. We got here Om Omerita or Omrita City of Gangsters complete. £2.50 from a CEX shop in Basingstoke. Um, the Basingstoke CEX shop has some pretty decent stuff. Um, it's a sort of a I don't know if this is a turn based strategy game or a um, or a uh, sort of um 
or more of a like twin stick shooter but it looks pretty decent i don't know if this game's that good it got some good reviews i think but um it kind of reminds me of a XCOM, but um set in like mafia style and, and it looks pretty decent actually um, i don't know if it's a twin stick shooter or a um strategy game but i can have a quick look in the manual which is nice game control ah okay so it is it's more of like a top-down shooter tactical combat so it's, yeah so it's okay so it is a turn-based um strategy game sort of like xcom which is pretty cool i thought it was i might i thought it might have been a twin stick shooter but not then we got leisure suit larry box office bust <sighs> Do I need to explain this game to you guys? Okay, so Leisure Suit Larry was one of the most memorable PC games in the late 80s, 90s. It was a sort of one of those point and click games, but it was adult themed. So if you play games like King's Quest and Space Quest, I think it was called, um, you probably played Leisure Suit Larry, um, which was a sort of point and click adventure game. And it was very adult themed. There was a lot of adult jokes, adult humor, uh, it was about this sleazy guy trying to get a bit of a, you know, some of that put. But, um, obviously, there was about seven games or so released on PC. Then they released Magna Cum Laude on the consoles, which was more of a third-person um, platformer slash minigame game. And then they released this pile of shit, which is considered to be one of the worst Xbox 360 games, if not one of the worst games of all time. I haven't... Uh, uh, excuse me. I haven't played it myself, but... For some reason, this game's getting quite hard to find. It's one of those games that's hard to find, but when you find it, it's not expensive at all. Because it's such a bad game, it's cheap. But this game used to be so common. Now I don't see this game at all. Um, I, that's why I picked it up. And it was only £2.50. £2, that was £2.50, sorry. So I got it for my collection. Um, when I start doing game recording, end of April... I'll probably do something like shitty Saturdays or shitty Sundays where you play shitty games. So yeah. And then we got Race Pro. Uh, £3.50. Um, Race Pro. This sort of looks like... It's made by the same creators of um, GTR. The GTR racing series. Which I do have a few of them. I haven't played them. I may have played this game before. I can't remember if I did. It looks pretty decent. It's one of those racing games where you get a bunch of different styles of racing cars like formula one touring car which i love i love games that do that racing games that give you a variety instead of just sticking to formula one or something happy to have that in the collection three pounds fifty it was on my amazon wish list so that's why i picked up and then three um ps2 games two racing games well one of them you wouldn't think is a racing game and one action game i'll show you the action game first you got here hunter the reckoning wayward now, I think I've played this game before. It's sort of like a top-down shooter slash hack and slash game where you go around, like, killing monsters and zombies and stuff. And I believe it's up to... Yeah, yeah. It's a two-player co-op game as well. And I think I remember this game pretty, pretty decent. And it's... Um, I don't see this game that often anymore. That's why I picked it up. And it was only £1.50. I don't see it that often anymore. Then we got here, Card Mata International make a national championship um i think this one might have been exclusive to the ps2 um there's a few cards games i think there's cards this one racerama and cars 2 i think this one's exclusive to the ps2 era i don't know it might have come out on xbox 360 but you get some cool like racing the cars games are pretty decent racing games they're disney games but um, they're an okay racing game, so and it was three pound. That's why I got it. And then we got here. When you look at Krusty Demons, when you look at that, what do what what do you think? You think this is going to be some cheap like horror game or like a children's horror game or some really messed up sort of mi obscure game? But no manual. But in theory, it's actually a racing game, a dirt bike racing game. That's sort of like, this game sort of like is a mix between um, Road Rash and, um, sorry, I'm just going to unplug the thing. It's sort of a mix between Road Rash and um, MX Superbike games. 
And it's an 18. Um, it was only a pound. Um, I don't know if this is a good game or if it's a bad game. It looked pretty decent. But I can imagine this game being quite bad. But it looks like a lot of fun. And it's made by Deep, uh, Deep Silver Engine. I don't know if that's a producer or a company or an engine. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Happy to have this one in the collection. Don't see this game at all. And the last thing I got was from a local game shop called uh, in Reading called Game City. And it is Batman, the original classic TV series on Blu-ray, £29. Brand new. This is probably one of the best deals I've got in a long time. Because this is about £50. This is still about £50. Now, obviously, the story behind this is that Batman, the original TV show, never was released on video or DVD for so long. And then they basically remastered it um, on Blu-ray and DVD. And the first box set that came out was a big box set, which come with all sorts of goodies like cards, um, come with a bunch of like cards, the little model of the actual Batmobile, um, some really cool stuff. And then they re-released it in just the DVD format with the book. It comes with all the all the episodes, all 120 episodes, on multiple discs, and a, a, a viewing guide, which is always nice to have in box sets. It's nice to um, know what episode you're on and stuff like that. And it's Blu-ray, which is fantastic. I did check. Discs are definitely Blu-ray. Um, I did have this box set originally. You guys probably remember it. I did have it on DVD, but I traded it in. I think I paid like... £35 for it on DVD or like £40 for it on DVD. It might have been even more than that. I can't remember. And I traded it in like an idiot. But I thought I'll trade it in because I'll probably get it again down the line. And I'm kind of glad that I did trade it in because now I've got the Blu-ray version. Which is, I know a lot of people go, well there's not a lot of difference between Blu-ray and DVD. I know. Nine times out of ten I'm going to get the DVD version because it's cheaper. But. If I find the Blu-ray version of the DVD, when a new movie comes out that I'm interested in, I'm going to get the DVD, uh, the Blu-ray version, more than likely, because, like, the new Star Wars Rose 1, I prefer it on Blu-ray because it would look better. Um, well, you know, just because. Um, but, obviously, and obviously, value goes up in Blu-ray. Blu-rays are more valuable than DVDs now. Um, but this, even on DVD, this is still about £40, brand, brand new. And this is about 60 to 70 pounds from HMB. It might have gone down, it might be like 40 or 50 pounds now, but for 29 pounds, I had to get it because I was looking at it. I went in there and I saw it. I was like, I might get this when I get paid. I went in there and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it because it needs to be in my collection because I, I am a massive, massive fan of classic TV shows. And the original Batman, campy as it may be, you can't beat it. I know a lot of people are going to go, oh, it's so campy. They're so, so like, you know, look at Batman now. He's a badass. Look at him back here. He, he was so campy and stuff. But it was the 60s. This sort of stuff was, you know, campy TV shows. I like campy TV shows. There were a lot of people that like Full House and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily a guy who watches a lot of live action TV shows. But I love classic TV. Um, I'm a big fan of like Only Fools and Horses and classic comedy. And being a massive fan of, uh, you know, comics and Batman, I did actually read a classic Batman comic, which was done in the classic Batman style, and it was really good. But yeah, so happy to have this one in the collection. So that was definitely the pick up, the highlight of my day, but probably the best one in terms of something that you don't see every day would probably be all of 1886 because you do not see i know it's a very common game don't get me wrong but you do not see this in charity shops at all especially where i live so there we have it that's been a little bit of a pickups video um i'm probably going to do some videos during the week um i might do another video tonight with jack and heather if they want to do it we might do the japanese diy candy if they want to do it i don't know if not who cares you know what i mean <laughs> but um I was trying to get some videos done over the weekend. I might do some gameplay, 30 minutes gameplay video. I don't know how well it's going to register with this camera because, uh, that's it. But 
I'll see how we go. I might do a few game reviews, maybe a few discussion videos, maybe even like a talking video or something like that. But yeah, um, just something to say. I am looking forward to WrestleMania next Sunday. I hope you guys are too, if you're a fan of WWE. Um, let me know in the comments your predictions for WrestleMania. Um, I'd like to maybe um, talk to you guys about WrestleMania. If you, want, if you want me to do a dedicated video on my thoughts of WrestleMania, let me know because I might do that on the weekend but again if you're not interested i won't bother but hey this has been a little bit of a pickups video 25 plus minutes so that's pretty decent <coughs> excuse me that's a pretty decent size for a pickups video um how many things did i pick up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Well, 23 if you include those two DVDs that were given to me. But not bad. Small pickups video. But hey, it's something. This video is going to be uploaded straight away. I'm kind of glad that I uh, cancelled the last video I was recording and did it like this because this looks a lot better now. So um, I will see you guys maybe later on today. If not, I'll see you. Uh, later on this week, maybe tomorrow on the weekend, obviously Sunday night we're going out for Mother's Day. Um, me and my brother are treating my mum to a in the curry. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that, it'll be quite nice. And then I'll be back at the house um, on Tuesday next week. So maybe I'll do a video when I get back, I don't know. But um, yeah, so um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, leave a like you know leave a like and of course feel free to comment below let me know if there's some stuff here that you've got let me know what you picked up recently let me know if any of this stuff is um you know rare or anything some of this uh, not that i'm gonna sell any of it i might maybe i will maybe i won't but uh, let me know what you've been picking up let me know if this stuff's any good and of course feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the family and of course have a nice day and i will see you in the next video Sayonara. Peace out.